Hey guys, it's a big day and night for Steelers fans. Steelers Fest is happening right now at Legion Keener Park in Latrobe. The free event is like a meetup for Steelers fans to eat, listen to music, and just build up the hype before heading over to tonight's practice. Can you say drumline? Love that. Steeler Fest is family friendly. Kids can try their hand at the inflatable quarterback toss or their foot at the field goal kick. Steely McBeam is there today too. And right now, the autograph line just opened up. You can meet a couple of Steelers legends before making your way over to Latrobe Memorial Stadium. That's the site of the only night practice of training camp, and it's a really big deal. Join 5,000 of your closest Steeler fans and cheer on the team. I'll be there, and we'll have those highlights later on on KDK News. And you're not done with me yet. I plan to join you on and off throughout the season with some great football stories. Coming up soon, what to know if you're joining a fantasy football league. Ladies, we have some football to get ready for, so save the soft pants for a few more hours, but dig out that Steelers jersey now. <laughs> <laughs> Our thanks to Cassidy there. And you know, it's so true. Kelly's not here today, yeah. mm -hmm. but we will live vicariously through her and we will put on our soft pants later today. Absolutely. As soon as we get home. <laughs> um, we have Mary here now. It's time for your forecast by the hours and we're actually going to start down here breaking down what's going to happen tonight for Friday Night Lights because we've been waiting for this moment. Mm -hmm. We haven't ra had rain for weeks and then all of a all sudden the it's here, here it is. <laughs> okay, so it was very heavy this morning yeah, with a was. lot of lightning and it mm -hmm. looks like we're just looking at a spotty shower around. Okay. So not a washout, but if you feel a little shower I would just take the poncho maybe take the umbrella with you just in case just but in case. shouldn't be anything uh, too bad to put a whole damper on the on the evening. That's great. Yeah, our producer just Maggie know. came in this morning drenched. She was, oh, she was like, Antonio. what she, poor she thing. She just had this look on her face <laughs> like, oh, this why? is how I'm starting my day. <laughs> All right, let's get into some of the questions. Okay. Um, we got a bunch of them. Janet Paluka is headed to the dive bar for Tina Daniels Band Ooh. on Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah this is fun. This, so this is in Glenshaw, and we still have, again, the chance for some isolated showers and storms, so maybe you can, you know, pop inside really quick if you get caught in a downpour. Uh, but temperature is still into the mid to upper 70s. It's not excruciatingly hot like it was yeah. the past couple of days, but rain gear tonight. Um, and then Frank Barbella is going to a huge car cruise on Saturday in Beaver at 11 a.m. So this is again going to be yeah. outside. Yeah, Sounds this is like the fun. hot summer nights yeah. car cruise mm -hmm. and it's still going to be, you know, a little bit on the muggy side, but we also have the chance for some isolated showers and storms for the first part of the day and then just a few showers remaining through the night, but it goes pretty, pretty late uh, tomorrow evening, so it should dry out by the night. Okay, and Brian Dobson, he's partying this weekend. It's a birthday party uh, this <laughs> Saturday at 3 p.m. in West Deer Township. Okay. Yeah, it's still another day. Again, scattered shower storms. If you're carrying the party till late at night, you're still going to have a few showers around, but I'm thinking they're going to get out of the way very early on into the morning, and then it's just going to be a few just kind of scattered around through the day. Uh, Monica Spear going kayaking this Sunday at Moraine State Park, and I'm not sure if this is if she's doing this as part of the regatta, but I know that they're having the regatta at Lake Arthur yeah. this this weekend too. So, so beautiful. If you're heading up north or if you live up that way, what can you expect? Oh, it's going to be perfect Sunday. Yeah. That's the day. Oh, it's okay, going to be good. hot, you know, mid to upper 80s, but we'll have partly sunny skies. All of the rain is out of here, and even though it's in the upper 80s. We will have lower humidity. Oh, well, that's that okay. makes a big difference, a huge difference. So with some of these storm chances, like for this evening yeah. and tomorrow, are they pop up showers? Everybody going to see them or is it going to be like just kind of a chance? I know the risk is different. It's more so north through the rest of this evening okay. and then tomorrow it's going to be morning, afternoon, kind of widely scattered showers and storms. Pretty low confidence for anything really severe to kind of break out. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of the good on our side because yeah. we need the rain. Yeah, we do need the well, rain. I kind of feel like Sunday's the day. That's yeah. the day you want to yeah. have fun. <laughs> All right, Mary, thank you. And still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, kids' birthday parties are getting bigger and better, but the price tag may get some parents pause. We're breaking down those costs and what's driving it after the break.